Greetings, M squared here. Today I'm going to show you how to change forms to standard form. So to take a linear equation that's either in point slope, slope intercept, or just not in any particular form and change it to standard form. So let's remind ourselves what standard form is. AX plus BY equals C. What that means is X and Y have to be on the left side. X is first, Y is second, the number on the right side, and A, B, and C must be integers. I can't have any fractions or any decimals for A, B, and C. Now, some textbooks might tell you that A has to be positive. Some textbooks tell you that it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. So we're going with it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. But just so you know, you might have a textbook that says that A has to be positive. That's how I learned it, but this book that we're in isn't teaching it that way. So what we need to remember first is that X and Y are on the left, second, no fractions or decimals. So when I look at this problem right here, X and Y are on the left, beautiful. The problem is it's not in standard form because A is a fraction and I can't have A as a fraction. So to get rid of that fraction, I'm gonna multiply everything by the common denominator, which is two. So I'm gonna multiply this by two, this by two, and this by two. Well, one half times two, the reason we did that was to cancel it out. So I get X minus three, ta three Y times two is six Y and 17 times two is 34. Now my equation is in standard form. X and Y are on the left and no fractions or decimals. Let's try this one. This one is in slope intercept form. So all I need to do is move my X to the left side. And when I'm moving something, I'm going to subtract or do the opposite. And since it was positive, I know to subtract. And remember, you have to have X first. So even though it says Y minus three X, you need to put the negative three X first and then the positive Y. We know Y is positive because there was no sign in front of it. And it would have said negative if it was negative. And now it's in standard form. All right, I'll try another one. So here it's in slope intercept form but we also have a fraction. So not only do we need to get rid of the fraction, we need to move X over. And you can do either one of those first. You could move X over first, or you can get rid of the fraction first. I prefer to get rid of the fraction first. So I'm gonna multiply everything by negative four, just cause that's a negative one fourth. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply. So I get negative four Y equals X plus 24, because negative times a negative is a positive. Now I'm going to subtract X from both sides and I get negative X minus four Y equals 24. Now this, if I hadn't multiplied by negative four, let's say you multiplied by four, that's fine. If you had multiplied by four, you would have gotten X plus four Y equals negative 24, which is absolutely the same exact line. It doesn't matter which one you do. You might prefer one or the other. All right, this one's in point slope form. We're gonna change it to standard form. So we need to get rid of the parentheses. We need to move all the numbers to the right side and the X to the other side. So Y minus eight equals negative two X minus 14. That's what I get when I distribute. I'm going to add two X to both sides. So now I'm gonna put the two X first, remember, because I want the X first. And now all I need to do is move this negative eight. So I'm going to add eight to both sides. So I get two X plus Y equals negative six. And now I'm in standard form. All right, you'll notice that this one doesn't have an X and a Y. So that means it's a, it just has an X, it's a vertical line, but we still just need the X on this side and the Y on this side. And it all, I mean, and the number on that side and it already is. So that is actually already in standard form. Now you could simplify it. You don't have to, because that's already considered um, standard form, but you could. You could say X equals negative six. And if you were graphing it, I would recommend that you do that. But this is already considered in standard form. Okay, last one. We are going to change this point slope form into standard form. So first we're gonna say Y plus three equals one half X plus six. Now I chose to distribute first when I have parentheses, because some people get really confused and they'll multiply the inside by two and the outside by two, which is actually multiplying by four. So I didn't want to make that mistake, so I distributed first. And now, 
to make it simpler, I'm actually going to subtract 3 from both sides. I'm going to get all my constants on one side first, and then I don't have to multiply as much by 2. And now I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by 2, and then I'll move the x over. So if I multiply this by 2, and this by 2, and this by 2, I'm going to get 2y equals x plus 6. And now it's not in standard form because I have x still on the right side. I'm going to move x to the left side. I get negative x plus 2y equals 6. And that is how you change linear equations to standard form. Remember, ax plus by equals c, x and y on the left, number on the right, and they have to be integers. Good luck with that. m squared, signing out.